Hello, Dalton Golf and Country Club. I am your membership director, Nancy, and I am here today with Garrick Sanford, our head tennis and pickleball pro for our week three series of our videos. So we're gonna get to know Garrick today. So Garrick, tell us when you started playing tennis. I started playing tennis when I was around five years old. Um, my grandparents had a tennis court in their backyard and my aunt was a pretty good tennis player. Um, so I grew up going to my grandparents' house and. Um, there was always a tennis court in the backyard when I was there, so that's how I started. Well, that's pretty cool. Not everybody has a tennis court in their backyard. No, they did not. <laughs> I was very fortunate. So your grandparents were big tennis players then? Uh, they loved tennis. They, they, it was a hobby for them to watch, and then when my aunt became a good tennis player, they built a court for her in the backyard. And they okay. researched it for myself as I, as I got older and started growing interest in it. So when did you decide that you wanted to make a career out of tennis? I, um... Probably my sophomore year of, of uh, college. I was going into my junior year. There was two weeks left in, uh, to my junior year, and my um, advisor called me and said, uh, Garrick, you've got two weeks to register for classes. And um, I said, well, I knew there was always an interest in tennis, but making it a career is kind of a, um, a leap of faith, I guess. I didn't always know if there was going to be money involved in tennis, but I did, and I, I'm glad that I'm here. Okay. Well, did you have you ever thought about or tried walking away from tennis? In middle school, there wasn't really a tennis program in uh, where I went, so I didn't play as much. I still played in my grandparents' backyard, and I still practiced. But as far as um, playing competitively, I didn't play quite as much. But tennis has always been a part of my life since about five You've years. You've never old. just hung the racket up. I never have. <laughs> no, I have. No. Well, then that's good. That's why you're such a good teacher. I appreciate it. Um, who has been? that good role model in your life? Uh, I'd say both my parents. Um, I was very fortunate to have good parents that always supported me with sports. Um, I was, anytime there was a need, a tennis racket, a tournament I needed to go to, traveling, um, they always made sure my expectations were met there. So I'm um, very fortunate to grow up and I had uh, great parents in my life that allowed me to play these sports. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. What certifications do you currently have? So I have uh, my USPTA, which is the United States Professional Tennis Association. Um, I have an elite level with them. Um, I have an elite level with pickleball, it's IPTPA. And most recently, I just got a, a AFO, which is a aquatic facility operator. Okay. Uh, some new details will be coming out about that. So. And then, and then are, are, are you also working towards getting um, like all rackets certification? There is a rackets degree that's come out. It's through the University of Florida, and I have been accepted into that program. So um, in a future date, I would, I would like to be getting into that pretty soon. Yeah, and that could be a, a good ongoing long-term for here at the Country Club. Right, and it could be bring in new racket sports as long as um, they don't just limited to pickleball or tennis. Yes, that's exciting. Um, what is something new that you're adding to the management career for this program? So as I mentioned, the AFO, uh, uh, Aquatics Facility Operator. So this summer I uh, have been asked to take over the pool. So uh, I've got my degree in that. Um, I've got my lifeguard management degree, our certifications, and um, I'm in the process of hiring a full staff over there. And um, I'm looking forward to a new, new challenge this summer, being the pool operator for you guys. Yes, and there's some exciting part about that too. Most most of you have seen her down here in the tennis shop. She helps him, his wife, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. um, but she's going to be handling the summer camps. Yes, so she'll be so, a tag team in that and at the pool with me. And um, so we'll both be over there. So Yes, so we call ourselves the DGCC family. So now the tennis and pool area is going to be ran by the Sanford family. <laughs> Absolutely. So it'll be an exciting summer for yes. sure. So tell us something we, we just don't know about you. If you would have told me as I graduated high school that I would have um, been a tennis professional, a tennis teaching profession, professional, I would have probably laughed. <laughs> um, the basketball was always my number one sport. So um, I fell in love with tennis um, my sophomore year. I didn't play tennis my freshman year of college. Um, I, I didn't play any sports, but basketball was my, always my number one. So um, I fell in love with tennis my sophomore year, and I haven't had a look back since. I've, I've always wanted to. Um, to have this as a as a degree since mm -hmm. then. Now you did play tennis for Reinhardt mm -hmm. College, so why didn't you play basketball? So I actually did. I played JV basketball. Okay. I played JV. So that it wasn't something quite I as, didn't know. <laughs> it wasn't quite as competitive. Um, time didn't really allow for that with school and work. Um, but I did play a little bit of JV basketball, and, and I hung that up my sophomore year after two injuries there. Okay. I didn't okay. want that to affect my tennis. 
Okay, so you and your family, as a family, you guys use the club quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, what is, what's been your favorite thing as a family coming out here? I love the food and beverage side of it. You know, it's, um, this always is the best place you can eat as far as food, chef, and does a great job with the food, but um, Will and Deborah and Israel do a great job with the service here too. It's just uh, somewhere you can come, you can bring your family, and it's always gonna be superior service. And, um, and we, we just enjoy, it's a family, for, family oriented place that you can always bring the kids out. And we, we very much enjoy coming here. We're here probably at least three days a week. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, good. You guys will have to start paying attention see if you see Garrett and his family out here. <laughs> um, what, what is an important item that you feel every tennis player needs to know before they come and step foot on those courts? I, will, I won't limit it to tennis. I'll limit it, I'll, I'll bring up pickleball as well. Um, <laughs> One of the biggest injuries that I'm seeing as we have had our courts for over a year for pickleball is having the wrong shoes. Um, I've witnessed two injuries myself. Um, and uh, if you have the, the just your regular on cloud shoes or ho hokas, um, if they're not actually court shoes, um, they're not meant to go side to side and have, they're meant to go in one direction, just walking or running. So when you get the fast pace, um, going side to side quick, Quick steps; those those shoes can really dig into the court. They're not meant to to, to smooth be smooth on the court, and um and, and you can really lose your balance pretty quickly there. So having the right court shoe is very important when you're on the right playing surface. And if any of you ever need that, I'll be happy to get those ordered for you down here. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, he can totally help you with all of that, all mm -hmm. of the equipment actually that you might need for pickleball or tennis. Mm -hmm. So, what is some exciting news about the tennis shop? Well, behind me, as you see, <laughs> we, uh, we recently just uh, we went into contract with Lululemon. So we are in the process of getting the inventory in. We are in our second shipment, but their, their summer inventory will be coming out in a few weeks. We'll be getting that in and hopefully be some swimming suits will be in that. So we can have that if you're ever at the pool and want to um, have new gear, forget your gear over here. And we'll have all kinds of golfing, tennis, and active wear over here so um, we're excited to have them here yes and, and he does carry both women and men's lines um, so make sure you come down here and shop and for those of you who have not been down to the tennis shop most don't even know where it's located <laughs> so it's actually located on the far end of the pool facility right next to the tennis courts so next time you come out and you want to come shop lululemon garrick and them will be here come see us thank you for uh, taking time to get to know garrick and uh, we will see you around the club. Have a great day.